A Bellmead police officer is called to the loss prevention office at Walmart after a 15-year-old girl refuses to give up her phone. Let me see your phone. No. Let me see your phone. I'm not even supposed to search you, so just wait too long. No, because it's mine. Within seconds, he uses physical force to make her hand over the device. We felt like we were just violated by these officers for no reason. Her parents say the teen was guilty by association when her cousin was caught shoplifting makeup in January. In the video, an officer says she assaulted him with this kick. She says officers were rough with her all the way from putting on handcuffs to carting her off to the juvenile detention center. They didn't cuss for three hours, our skin just tight for three hours. And then after I started yapping, I um, got taken to the hospital. When my daughter calls and says somebody gave her a bloody nose and we find out it's a grown man in a uniform, we have a problem. She wasn't the only one injured. Her cousin was choked and her father was tased twice while coming to her rescue. She called out to us. So we came into the asset protection room and immediately um, officers, sellers, pulled his taser gun on my husband's face. They have his thumbs, and they're still saying, put your hands behind your back. And I don't think it has nothing to do with race, color, creed, religion. I think it's just the culture. Bellmead police wouldn't talk to us on camera, but Chief Lydia Alvarado sent us a statement saying the city of Bellmead and the Bellmead Police Department are unable to comment on any case where there is an ongoing criminal case to include trial or trials. I will say a McLennan County jury, citizens of our community, have seen the videos and I respect the jury's decision in regards to one of the trials that has been concluded pertaining to this case.